Earlier in this course, we looked at the fill holes feature in Zmodel Brush, and it works great. But sometimes you have a lot of holes to fill, and the Zmodel Brush only fills one hole at a time. There's a different feature that does them all at once. So let's see how. Okay, looking at the model, you can see there's several uh, little holes all over the place. If I'll turn it around, and you can see some big holes, some small holes. So there are different kind of holes over here. So, if I want to fill all these holes using the Z model, it will take time. So, one way of quickly filling these holes, by the way, this file uh, uh, you can download, the link is given in the description below. So, if I will uh, now back to what I was talking about. Now, if I will go to geometry and if I go to modified topology, Inside the modified topology, there is an option here which is called close holes. So as soon I will click this button, so you can see that automatically it will fill all the holes. Okay, very quickly it will do that. And now uh, let me do one more thing. Let me turn on my uh, polyframe, Shift F on my keyboard, and now you can see that. Uh, it have filled all those holes, but when it filled it, it created a new, uh, you can say, uh, a topology, a new polygon over there with a new polygroup. So you can see different colors over here of the new polygroups, and it had filled it with the new polygroup. So maybe if you want to select them with the help of uh, the polygroup, so you can do that by Control Shift clicking them, okay, or uh, Control shift clicking this one uh, or you can do the opposite of that okay so this is uh, one way of doing uh, selecting with the help of that so let me turn this off or keep it on but just to give you an uh, like you know just to give you heads up sometimes there are a few strange things that happens so uh, when that thing happens, maybe it will smooth out some of the uh, geometrical area and some of the geometrical area may be tucked behind other geometry. So you will have different sort of, you can say, artifacts that you can uh, that you have to fix on your own. So this isn't a perfect solution for uh, all holes. You'll notice that this uh, one right now was very simple. So it has done it fairly like, nicely, but sometimes it do the job of very awkwardly oh, whereas the z model brush fills uh, everything more uh, nicely more precisely but uh, you have to you know work on every hole one by one and each at a time so this is how uh, the things are uh, when uh, you are filling holes so uh, what i uh, would expect uh, you know expect from the z model is it will do a better job with the hole filling However, most of these holes that aren't too complicated, the host goes feature worked for like pretty well, just like this model I have over here. So Z modeler works better with complicated holes and also when you want to close some of the holes, but not all of them. So you have choice of using either the Z modeler or the close holes from the uh, like modified topology. So guys, if you have enjoyed my video, please click on the like button and i will be uploading new lessons tutorials live sessions and full courses along with other useful videos so don't forget to click on the bell icon so you can get all the notifications on time and i will highly appreciate if you give shout out to my channel on your social media account which will help me to get more subscriber and this will motivate me to create more content for you all so Guys, thanks a lot for your support and please continue supporting me and take care of yourself till we meet for the next lesson.